Hi, hello again. Um, if you're following my work, then watch on. Um, let me just show you a couple of smaller tasks that I'm getting involved with. Um, wrapping up some loose ends on some smaller jobs that I've been doing. Um, as you may recall, I've got to make up 10 solid oak doors, but that might be coming up sooner than I originally thought, so maybe a week or two. Um, there are a number of bigger jobs going on, but for today I've just been doing some relatively small stuff. Let me show you. So, so what I've done is I've put up this cabinet which is called a gas cage um, and it's for storing propane cylinders. These propane cylinders that you see there, these are used in for people's uh, barbecues. Um, and I should point out, no matter where you are in the world or whatever your regulations are, um, propane cylinders must be kept outside um, in free air. So if ever they leak, the gas can escape safely. It's not good enough to keep your gas cylinders in your garage. That's an absolute no-no. Please don't do it. Remove them and keep them outside somewhere. Um, so in this row of main, we've got two of those gas cages. So I've just put them up today. If we look down, you can't really see, but there's 13 mansion blocks, and quite a few of the residents have um, barbecues that get used in the summer. So that's where they have to keep their propane cylinders. Right, it's enough of that. So I've put two of these up today, um, and these are fixed to the wall, um, and uh, is to keep it within uh, keep the regulations. Now, moving up this ladder, you'll notice a large hole in that brickwork. Now that was the flue to a boiler, which I, I believe boilers are called furnaces in America. But anyway, that was a boiler flue, and so we have a large hole in that wall, which I have to repair. To do that, I can't just fill up with circular sort of cut bricks. I need to cut out the bricks surrounding that hole, so that when I replace the bricks with reclaimed, these bricks, by the way, are called London stocks. They're handmade clay bricks made from London clay and fired in London. Um, so we have uh, we have a store um, a supply of these handmade reclaimed bricks um, that are that are um, made in this period and will match exactly. My objective is is to cut out the bricks surrounding that round hole so we've got nice square edges and the relative place for them to go to, and so that when I finished. Um, you will never know there was a hole there or that anybody has done anything to the brickwork. So that's the objective. So first I need to get up there and chisel out um, the bricks surrounding that round hole so that we've got clean square spaces for the replacement bricks which I'm going to put in later on this afternoon. So that's my job and I'll get back to you when I've um, got further on, along with this. Thanks. So I've just climbed the ladder. I just thought I'd show you. So that's the round hole where the gas flew from the previous old boiler was. So I've got to cut it if you follow these mortar lines. So I'm going to cut along there down. I'll cut this brick out as well. And then when I replace it, oh, the objective is that You'll never know there was ever a hole there or that this brickwork was touched. Anyway, I'll prepare it and I'll get back to you. Okay, so I've just used my um, chisel machine, whatever you want to call it, um, to open up what, which was a hole here. 
I've got to deal, I'll deal with the brickwork on the internal side at a later date. But as you can see, so there's a sort of half brick space there and a full brick will go here. So when I put them back and if I get the pointing right, um, it should look like there was never ever a hole here. For those of you who followed my earlier videos, you'll recall the configuration, the pattern in which these bricks are laid is called a Flemish bond. So we have a long face of a brick here, which is called a stretcher, and the end of a brick here, which is called a header. So we have a stretcher, header, stretcher, header. That particular configuration is called a, a Flemish bond. There are a number of other, other bonds. A um, just a simple stretcher bond is generally for cavity walls. And then there's an English garden wall bond or an English bond. Um, but this, this is probably the most common for Victorian uh, Edwardian um, Georgian and actually back to Tudor times. I mean, if you go to um, Hampton Court Palace, for example, you'll see that it's all in this brick configuration, which is uh, the Flemish bond. Anyway, so that's what I need to achieve. I'm going to put a, a long face brick there and a shorty one there. And then the, the important thing is, if you look at the pointing, most of which is very old, um, you see it's all a bit crumbly here and that. So I need to make my pointing not look new, but to look as old so that it matches its surroundings. Um, and hopefully uh, then the repair will be an invisible one. I'll get back to you after I've done. Hi, just uh, um, it's actually the next day. So, um, because I've got taken off to do other things. Um, there's a tremendous amount of stuff that's going on right now. Um, yeah, so uh, what's going on? I've got to repoint the bit that I did yesterday. Um, let me just show you what I, uh, how, how that goes on. Um, and what I need to do. Sorry, things have moved around. I've had to move a lot of stuff. I've got a, um, there's a new scaffold being delivered today uh, to deal with another issue on the building. Um, old buildings are like old people, they need a lot of maintenance. So, anyway, I have mixed up the water I need to do the pointing of those two bricks that I replaced the other day where there was a circular um, hole from a previous previous boiler flue um, and I need to repoint that uh, to have a clean bucket of water. So what I'll do, I'll get up there and start doing this and I'll, uh, I've got to get up the ladder with all this stuff um, and, and I'll show you what it looks like or what I intend it to look like. Um, back with you shortly. Okay, so I'm up the ladder. I have a small bucket with the mortar in because it's only a small job. So those are the two bricks I've replaced. Um, what I want to show you, if you look above at the old pointing, and I'm not sure when this pointing was done, I don't think it's original to the building. It may have been done in the 30s or the 40s, I don't know. Um, but what I've done here, this is this style of pointing is called weather struck pointing. It has this sort of, it slopes off to help shed water from the building. And all of this style of pointing is weather struck pointing, so it's correct. But um, what I've done is too neat. You know, um, if we look up, you can see under that pointing has been weathered and eroded over the years. So what I'm going to do is just use an ordinary paintbrush and brush it out a little bit so that, just lightly, because I don't want it to look, I don't want it to look new and pristine. Because it rather defeats the object. What I'm trying to do is make it look like the original. Now, the other thing about this is that currently 
as I've just applied this pointing, um, the colour is all wrong. Um, the mortar is what we call green, it's still fresh. It's going to take a few weeks. So first the mortar has to set, it then has to harden. Hardening takes a few weeks and the colour will change. And then when you look up at the wall, it should blend in very nicely. So the colour isn't quite right right now, but in a few weeks time it should look right. And I've taken off a, a, quite a lot of the definition just by lightly brushing the pointing. Um, so, that it look, so it doesn't look uh, too out of place on the original. So that's a small thing of one of the brick repairs that I do. Um, and as I've said to you before, I've um, got a whole bunch of joinery to do. I've got to make up some bespoke uh, solid oak doors, um, which will be happening in a few weeks. And maybe I'll show you about that. Uh, before I go, I should say, um, I'm, I'm rather overwhelmed trying to keep up with the work here at the moment. Um, I have a number of contracts that I'm um, trying to keep on top of. Um, uh, so I'm sorry I haven't been able to um, put up many films, but um, I'm really inundated with uh, work obligations. But I hope to have some films for you soon. Um, and what else is there? Oh yeah, when I was in Wales, I don't know if you saw the Wales videos, I did go off and I took a day out and I shot a whole video thing of um, a castle I found in Wales whilst I was there. Um, I haven't edited the footage yet, but um, as soon as I do, I'll get that uploaded too. In the meantime, I will try and get some films out to you when I can. Um, YouTube's copyright restrictions make that difficult, but I'll do what I can. Anyway, I hope you're all having a lovely day. The sun is shining. Let me just turn around here. Um, that's that building, by the way, is a college. But look, we have blue skies, and it's all looking rather lovely today. So I shall stop talking and have a great day. I'll hopefully have some films for you soon. Bye. Yeah. So sorry, I said goodbye, but there's more. So that's where I've just done that brief repair. And hopefully when that dries down, you'll never know there was a big hole in the wall there. So what I'm actually now going on to do is all of this brickwork here. Now, I, there were pipes coming out here from a previous bathroom development. That's all, all those pipes have been removed. They now run internally. Um, and so I've got to re I've changed those bricks that I've got to repoint that area there and all around this big soil pipe. Now these have been temporarily capped off from where the old bathroom pipes came into into this solid stack. But for today I've got to repoint this entire area so that it looks like it's never been touched. As I said there were pipes coming through the wall there and I've changed the bricks so there are no holes in the wall and repoint it and hopefully it looks like it's never been touched. Later on, oh god knows when, perhaps in a couple of months, I've got to change that entire pipe all the way up and we'll get a, sta um, a scaffold up there. But all of this entire pipe, which is all looking rather ugly at the moment, will re be replaced with a new one. And all of those pipes, those waste pipes that run laterally, horizontally, I should say, um, across the wall, those will all be removed and um, I'll have to replumb them internally. Um, so it's another part of what I do. Um, so I'll be changing all of this pipe work and uh, but that's a job for another day. For now, I'm just gonna repoint that area, that area, and an area down there. Uh, the ongoing saga of my work life. Um, anyway, I'll speak to you soon, bye. 
so I should have finished that pointing by now but um, ordered a new or purchased a new aluminium tower scaffold that's the rest of it over there and I've just taken delivery of it this is not quite all of it I've got some more down on another block it's quite a lot of it but then it's got to get right up to the roof um, so I'll be putting that up tomorrow <sighs> so I'm gonna have a bit of lunch and then just finish off that bit of pointing so that you can see that it's been completed okay so I've finished this part of the pointing that's the first bit I did on this particular bit um, it's dried um, and then I did up there and then I've done down there as it's dried it's actually looking quite well I think two or three weeks that will be just the right colour and blended in anyway that's that part sorry it's all wet because I've been hosing down um, and cleaning um, that's that part of this job done I'll shut up now I've got a thousand and one other things to do so I'll speak to you soon bye